It has now been more than a decade since a Richmond woman's family has seen her alive. Tonight, on the anniversary of Nikki McCowan's disappearance, her loved ones come together to talk about the time they did have with her. Brooke Moore is asking questions about what her family members are doing now. Well, tonight, here in this parking lot, wearing shirts that said still missing and lighting candles, friends and family members have been doing this every year since the woman went missing. I talked to her daughter, who was just a young girl when her mother disappeared. She says as long as she's around, she's going to keep pushing to find out what happened. Her presence is now in the form of photographs. Her smile displayed on a banner and worn on T-shirts. Nikki McCowan's daughter, Peyton, was only nine years old when her mother disappeared. Even as a young girl, she remembers her mom as a fun and outgoing woman, the life of the party. It's a good thing because, you know, a lot of people so young probably really wouldn't remember, but my mom was a wonderful person inside and out. She'd give the shirt off her back just for someone. Standing outside the laundromat where McCowan was last seen 13 years ago. Some families fall apart after a huge loss. That's why it's especially important to Peyton to keep this family together and keep her mother's memory alive. I get a lot of people that tell me that I look like her or I smile like her or something, and I just kind of, I wouldn't want somebody to look at me and be like, oh my gosh, that poor girl. I don't want anyone's pity. These days, Peyton is working towards a degree in criminal justice. She's also engaged, her fiance about to join the Air Force. She won't lie to you, some days are hard. But every day is another push for something more than photos and T-shirts. We're one day closer than we were yesterday is what I look at it. You know, when the time is right, we'll get the answers that we're looking for. And kind of right now, I'm just kind of just praying and hoping that, you know, maybe one day somebody that has answers will step forward and let us know. Peyton says even if someone did hurt her mom, they just want to know where she is. So if you know anything about McCowan's disappearance, you are asked to call investigators. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News, working for you.